I want to share with you the exact steps that I would take if I had to do this all over again to put me in the best position to become a SOC analyst. If you're someone that is not sure where to start or how to start, this video is for you. I'll go over two different paths. One where I will have limited budget to spend and the other is where I have a part-time or full-time job and I have a decent budget to spend. Regardless of path that you are in, the last step is most important. If this is your first time seeing my video, hello, my name is Steven and I've been in the cybersecurity industry for over half a decade within the security operations domain. And I am now a DFIR consultant. I help mentor those who are trying to get into cybersecurity as a SOC analyst. And here are the steps that I personally would take if I had the budget. And in my opinion, this would be the faster route as well. Step number one, learn IT. I would enroll into CBT Nuggets with Keith Barker and James Conrad, focusing on training towards the a certification. I am choosing CBT Nuggets because my experience with them have been pretty great so far, and I absolutely love those two instructors. While I am learning IT, I would go out and purchase cheap computer parts to try and build up my own computer because eventually this will act as my lab computer. I would also ask my friends and family to contact me anytime they have IT problems, because this will allow me to level up my troubleshooting and researching skills. Once I am confident in my ability and knowledge in IT, I'll then move on to the next step, which is networking. Step number two, learn networking. Similar to above, I would enroll into CBT Nuggets with Keith Barker and focus on training towards Network Plus. While learning, I'll invest in a cheap managed switch that will allow me to configure VLANs. The objective here is to draw a logical diagram of my home network and then begin implementing that where I will mainly focus on network segmentation. I would begin exploring the cloud specifically with Microsoft Azure now that I know IT and networking. I am choosing Azure because in my experience, this is more popular compared to the others. I'll spin out virtual machines and play around with Active Directory, Entra ID, Office 365, which will include SharePoint, Teams, OneDrive, but more importantly, Exchange, which is your email solution. While I play around, I would also be creating a blog post documenting my steps to reference in the future. I would also learn more about networking protocols, especially Kerberos, to understand how authentication works within a domain environment. And once I am confident in my ability and knowledge in networking, that is where I move on to the next step, which is security. And yep, you guessed it, CBT Nuggets with Keith Barker. And now I focus on Security Plus. While learning, I'll begin to look for a secondhand firewall that I can start implementing into my network. So then I can start configuring access controls. On my lab computer that I built, I would start learning how to set up an IDS, SIM, and EDR while documenting on my blog post. By doing this, I can begin to learn more about how these tools work, but more importantly, how they can work together. I would start thinking about password hygiene as well and how I could start locking down my accounts while implementing additional security measures, such as multi-factor authentication. Once I am confident in my ability and knowledge in security, I'll then begin to schedule a time to test for CompTIA Security Plus. After I hopefully pass the Security Plus, I'll then move on to the next step, which is to learn SOC fundamentals. I would start by enrolling into CCD by Cyber Defenders as it covers a lot of topics and it's quite advanced. Now, because it is quite advanced, I would then supplement my learning by doing additional free hands-on labs by Cyber Defenders, Blue Team Level 1, Let's Defend, Try Hack Me, and Hack the Box, while learning more about the topics that I know I am weak in. After taking the training and hopefully passing the CCD certification, I would then enroll into the MyD for SOC Analyst course, as this will touch on how to ask better questions, how to investigate, obtain feedback on reports, analyze a realistic compromise, and then come out with five SOC-related projects. This should allow me to gain the confidence in speaking to anyone about the SOC and how to investigate potential malicious activities. Due to the five SOC projects, I would also have the knowledge on how to configure popular tools used in the SOC, including how to build playbooks for SOAR. Once I am done with the trainings, I would then begin creating a LinkedIn profile and resume, 
while networking with individuals with similar interests on LinkedIn, X, and Reddit. I would also make an effort to have meaningful conversations with others to build up that relationship. Afterwards, I would begin looking into mock interviews and learning ways on how I could communicate a lot better. I would record myself talking and see where I can improve, as communication does go a long way in any job role. I would then begin to start applying for both IT support and SOC-related roles that are near me and offer either in-person or remote. So that way I can have more opportunities to apply. And finally, the last step, while applying for roles, I would continue to obtain practical experiences and look into obtaining the Microsoft SE200 certification. I would also follow along with the lab walkthroughs, projects, and take on the 30 day challenge that I am about to release here on YouTube. In the next video that I'll upload, we'll provide more information about this challenge, but essentially you'll learn how to spin up your own ticketing system, alert, dashboard, EDR, and SIM. From there, it is only a matter of time before an opportunity comes knocking. Now that is the path if I had money to spend. However, if I didn't have money, my path would look similar, but here are the differences and the path would take me a lot longer because I would be spending time trying to find free or affordable resources. Step number one, IT. Rather than CBT nuggets, I would be on YouTube trying to find free training for IT. Now, there are some free courses out there that will teach a related training, such as Professor Messer that I personally would follow. I wouldn't purchase computer parts and instead I would use what I have while still offering assistance to friends and family. Step two, networking. I would look for free training courses online and learn as much as I can. Professor Messer has training tailored towards Network Plus and rather than spending money on a switch, I would actually look into software such as Packet Tracer or GNS3, which are quite useful for network simulations. I would still explore cloud options such as Microsoft Azure because they do offer a free $200 credit for first time users, but I would only have access to that up to a month. After that, I will look for other cloud providers that provide free credits to play around. Step number three, security. Similar to the previous two, I'll look for free training courses here on YouTube or other places. And I'll take a look at Professor Messer for Security Plus training. I would also invest a little bit of money to enroll in Coursera's Google Cybersecurity course because that is a pretty great program for beginners. And after completing it, there is a Security Plus voucher which I would use to try and obtain the Security Plus certificate. I wouldn't look for any secondhand equipment and only try to use what I have. I would look into spinning up PFSense as a free open source firewall to begin and learn how to configure access controls. Step number four, SOC fundamentals. Since I don't have the budget for CCD and the MIT for SOC analyst course, I would instead opt for free training by consuming content here on YouTube and I'll tackle free labs from the resources that I mentioned earlier. I would read write-ups on the labs that I am either stuck on or completed to see how they came up with the answer. If there is a sale, I would invest in Try Hack Me's subscription as it has quite a lot of content on there and is quite beginner friendly. The rest is the same. I'll create a LinkedIn profile, resume, network with others, continue to obtain practical experiences, and take on the 30-day challenge while documenting your learnings and projects. This path will take a lot longer compared to the paid route, but you can still get to where you want to be. The material is out there. You just need to find it. That is it for the video, and I hope you found that informative. I did create a video showing you free trainings that you can take, and if you're interested, I'll link that down below. Remember to stay curious and do things differently.